developing story this afternoon. Prayers for Lafayette today after two people are killed and nine others injured when a gunman opened fire last night inside a Louisiana movie theater. The gunman, John Russell Hauser, also taking his own life. Authorities believe Hauser acted alone. Right now, they are trying to figure out why this happened. And we have team coverage of the Lafayette Movie Theater shooting. We want to head out again to reporter Deidre Wilson, who is live on the scene in Louisiana. Deidre, good afternoon. Have we learned anything new? Mallory, as I was driving in from Baton Rouge and coming into Lafayette, which is about 45 minutes to an hour um, outside of Baton Rouge, when I, when I came into Lafayette, it was clearly a sense of community. What I saw was trees that lined the street. Kids were at summer camp playing, and uh, people just seemed to, you know, you could see them on cell phones. You, I, I walked into Cracker Barrel. People are chatting about what happened in their tiny community of Lafayette. Nothing would they have ever expected like this at a movie theater where people are just going enjoying the summer. Uh, this morning, I was anchoring the news back in Baton Rouge, and my uh, co-worker, uh, NBC 33 reporter Talia Samalian, was already here in Lafayette, and she spoke to one of the witnesses, and I could see it in his, uh, in his eyes, Talia. I could see it in his face. Um, he was actually in that movie theater. He was. This is 19-year-old Lafayette native Jacob Broussard. He was absolutely terrified. You know, he was in the movie theater across the hall, and he describes it as a faint, like, crack, 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 firecracker noise, uh, about 15 to 20 minutes into the movie. He had no idea at this point what was going on. Well, was he thinking that this was a part of the movie? No, he knew something strange was going on. He knew it wasn't part of the movie, but he had no idea what it was. It wasn't until the fire alarm went off moments later that he realized something was going on. What that was, he had no idea. And that fire alarm, we're being told, was pulled by one of the teachers, and officials are calling her a hero today for pulling that alarm and alarming people that, hey, something is going on. Absolutely, she was a hero for doing that. This is also the woman who was saved by her coworker, who was also a teacher. She jumped in front of her and dodged a bullet. The one teacher got hit in the leg instead of in the head. So this is a very heroic act, absolutely. Let's talk about the victims because that is what officials said in the news conference just a minute ago that let, let's not lose sight here of the victims and the people who lost their lives. And one of them was Jillian Johnson. She owned a local store here. Yes, Jillian Johnson was 33 years old. She was a business owner. She'd uh, been a business owner for the past five years of Parish Inc. It's a retail store here in Lafayette, just about eight minutes actually from here. Her family's already reached out on social media, put out a statement about how sad, how hurt and how heartbreaking this is to lose someone in their family like this. It's just so sad. And the thing is, is that when I was driving down, I was trying to reach and get in contact with some victims. I actually called the store as well and spoke to Zach, who was one of the workers there. You were standing there at the same time, and he said they want to prepare the right statement before they come out and speak. Mm -hmm. Yes, and that is the statement they put out on social media. Uh, I spoke with Zach. He'd worked with Jillian for the past five years. When I went in there to talk to him about Jillian, he just immediately started crying. I didn't even have to say her name before the tears just started rolling down his face. It was heartbreaking, and this woman was a mother. She uh, she had a stepdaughter. She was married. She was, uh, you know, part of the community. Everyone knew her. Exactly. And our other our other uh, victim. Yes, this is Macy Bro. She is 21 years old. She is a college student. She has a boyfriend. We're hearing reports that he may have also been shot. That is unconfirmed at this point. But again, this is a young person who had their whole life ahead of them and was taken away from them too soon. She was a student also, I believe, at LSU uh, in Eunice? Yes. That is what we're hearing. Yeah, uh, her Facebook page does say that. She also works here in Lafayette, just about 10 minutes away from here, actually, at a clothing store as well. All right. So anything else that you can add to this because you've been out here all morning about witness accounts or, or, or people talking about their loved ones? It's just a real sense of community, like you said. People are really coming together. They're supporting each other, and they're just trying to comfort one another in this horrible time. All right. Thanks, Talia Samalian with NBC 33 News. Again, uh, she's, uh, I mean, Mallory, uh, the thing here is that officials are digging more into finding out who Hauser was, who this gunman was, and why the small town of Lafayette, Louisiana. There will be another newser tonight at 5 o'clock. We'll make sure that we bring that information to you. You can follow me on Twitter at Deidre Wilson TV. You can also follow Talia Samalian at Talia Marissa. Um, hope that this kind of sheds some light on what's going on here and how horrific this scene is. Back to you in the studio. Deidre Wilson live. Deidre, thank you so much. An absolute tragedy in that town. We will wrap up our coverage of the Lafayette Theater shooting right after another break. Stay with us.